NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, presents Aeronautics and Space Report. This is where the suits worn by Apollo astronauts are sewn, cemented, assembled, and tested. ILC Industries in Dover, Delaware is where they put it all together. Arms, legs, torso, boots. The end product, an incredibly reliable, custom-tailored, hand-assembled life support system, a space suit. The initial measurements taken at NASA's Manned Spacecraft Center in Houston are the first step. When an astronaut is assigned to a particular flight, many measurements are taken of his body, approximately 60. Uh, it takes three months from the time we have his measurements till we do have a spacesuit built for him. And there's a formula involved to give the man maximum mobility in a confinement of, you might say, a pressurized balloon. It is in this production room that the balloon-like inner suit, called the bladder, is assembled. Individual parts move on a schedule that brings all the pieces together into an integrated space suit. Meanwhile, on the second floor of the plant, the white outer suit, consisting of 17 layers, is cut out and assembled. These include a layer of woven Teflon to provide resistance to abrasions, a layer of fire retardant fiberglass called beta cloth, and a series of nylon restraints to hold in the inner suit like the skin of a football. So close are the tolerances that if a part is cut out and doesn't match the pattern by a 32nd of an inch, it must be recut. Gloves must fit so perfectly that they are made from plaster casts of the astronaut's hands. It takes 160 hours to make a single pair of molds and gloves. During qualification testing, suits are subjected to 10 times the design requirements of a lunar mission. Another critical area are the pressure tests. To be accepted, a space suit must have practically zero leakage when pressurized. Each of the prime crewmen on an Apollo mission has three suits made, a training suit used till the day of launch, a flight suit, and one that serves as a backup. The last stop is called the fit check. Here, astronaut Charles M. Duke, lunar module pilot for the upcoming Apollo 16 moon landing next March, tries on one of his suits for size and comfort. Okay, sir, you're at vent pressure. You want to stay there? And yeah, let me work it out a little okay. bit. The fit check is done in two parts. First, the inner suit is worn. Like Adjustments are made, and later in the day, the astronaut dons the two pieces, now put together as one totally integrated suit. It is here that the suit is finally accepted or sent back for additional changes. We asked astronaut Duke to comment on his suits. Yeah, it's a good fit. Uh, both. Uh both my suits have been uh, excellent fits. Uh, we haven't had any trouble at all. Uh, this is my second time up, actually the third time up. I have a training suit and, and two flight suits, uh, one spare and uh, one prime suit. Both flight suits just fit exceptionally well. Real pleased. Like a jigsaw puzzle, the pieces forming a garment that the astronauts can wear with comfort and confidence are brought together a garment that serves as a small-scale Earth environment in the hostile, airless environment of space. Mm -hmm. 